Hey guys, we're doing an old song from the good old days. It's Girl in the Little Green Hat. Let's take a listen. One. Isn't that fun? Have you ever wanted to just kind of vamp in an old style like that? We're going to learn how to do that today. Hi, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com, where we gather together in the online community to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all of you out there who are trying to learn how to play piano on the internet. You can do it if you pick the right lessons and you know how to practice. And I'm here to help you with that. Uh, on our website, if you are a member, you can download the sheet. In fact, you can download the sheet for any lesson that's on the site if you are a member. Um, if you're not a member and you want to just go over there and watch some free lessons, I have thousands of free lessons that you can watch even if you're not a member of the site, just to check it out and see what's up. Well, let's get into this lesson here. This is a, a neat old song, and uh, I look, kind of looked up, uh, and I found some pictures of it, you know, an old 45, and so this is one of those uh, throwbacks that we're going to do that sound really cool, you know, it's, it's uh, a, a kind of a lost art kind of thing, I think. Um, but we're going to just kind of vamp. You know, that if you listen to the song, it's just kind of a, a talking thing. There's so many lyrics to it, I can't even begin to try to, to speak them all. It's almost kind of like an early version of rap almost, the way they're just talking through it. Um, but we're going to learn this chord progression here and, and see how it goes. Getting to the board, we're in the key of C. And this could be considered a beginner lesson because you don't have to move around too much. The chords are, are fairly easy. And they're all kind of in the same place. And so we're kind of working on our rhythmic execution here. But we have a C chord to begin with, E, G, A, C. You might say, well, what's an A doing in our C chord? That's called an A add six. I mean, a C add six. You have your C chord, C, E, G, right? Well, if you add a six, because one, two, three, four, five, six, you get that sound, right? Play it up real high, sounds like sleigh bells. We have play an add six chord. So we have that to begin with, left hand on a C octave. And I'm not gonna play the rhythm yet. We're just gonna get the chord down. Then we'll try some rhythms with it. But let's just see if we can get the notes down first. So you take your hand off and you try to land that chord because a big part of playing the piano is getting to the next chord on time and we can't do that unless we practice getting to it. And you got that? Now, you're in luck because the very next chord is the same chord, but the left hand goes to A, okay? Now we actually hit a, an A minor chord there, all right? Now, the next chord is a D minor 7, F, A, C, D. It wasn't very far from this one, right? It's just right next door. In fact, your thumb just comes up one note, and your pinky also comes up one note. See? So if you just look at your pinky and your thumb, they both do this. They go up parallel. F, A, C, D. And then the last one is F, A, B, D. And later on, that's a flat sign. Sometimes the person in the video I'm using does that, an A flat. Not this first time, though. We're going to keep it natural. Left hand on a G. So if we just play the chords, we have this. Here we go. Ready? Hands off. Come down. Next one. Next one. Next one. Now, this is how you should practice this. Okay, because the problem is getting from one chord to the, ne to the next chord, not playing it once you get there. It's getting there. And I just already said this today, but we want to land it, not find it. Land the chord. Okay? Go for it. You'll make a lot of mistakes when you go for it, but eventually you'll start getting it. See that? At first you'll be like, this, oh, i got to fine here let's see f a you know but you want to just go for it that's how people play faster and have speed with their chords because it doesn't take them very much time to get to the next one economy of motion okay got that so we're in the practice as part of this right now we do learn play share at webpianoteacher.com we're in the learn part right now we're in the classroom we're working hard we're studying the big test. No, <laughs> just studying. Okay. 
After we learn it, it becomes motor memory, then we can play it. What people make the mistake of doing a lot of times is as soon as they can play it, then they don't play it. They move on. They say, oh, I've mastered that. No, with music, you don't master something. You get to a place where you enjoy it, and then you keep playing it. Then you go to something else. You may learn something else, but you never quit playing that thing you learned, right? So make sure after you learn it, you spend time playing it, and then you share it, which means we give it away to someone else by playing for someone else, recording yourself, posting it on Facebook or, or whatever, or just playing it for another human being. There's something in sharing it that uh, gives empowers us and the people that are listening way more than if we just keep it to ourselves and are isolated, okay? Really, it's really true. Sounds corny, but it's really true. Learn, play, share. All right, so we got our chord down. Did you practice that? Now that you have it, we can put some rhythm in it. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can put rhythm in this. And I am taking a long time on this part one because I'm thinking maybe there's some beginners who need some extra instruction on this, okay? We just have the chords down, the physical part of getting to the chords. Now we're going to put some rhythm to it. There's a couple of ways we can do this rhythm. I'm, I'm going to show you kind of a step, stepping uh, progression to where you can try to, you know, incrementally get a little bit more difficult to where you can uh, can progress at a at a rate that's good for you. So let's do that. So we're going to do this. We're going to play both hands together. See, there's a two there. That means we need two things. One, two. But we're going to play both hands together on the first one. But the second thing is going to be just the right hand. See that? We're going to do the same thing on the next one. This is our first way of doing it. Because we're vamping. Which means we're not just copying someone else exactly. We're just taking a chord structure and having fun with it. Just going with it. One, two. We're having a discussion. This is the topic. And we'll have a discussion about it. And everybody's discussion will be a little bit different. Here's the next one. Here's the next one. Now watch how I do it. I play and I go. I land it. Land it. Land it. Then, so. Now here's another way to do it that I like. I like to do left, right, left, right. So let's graduate to that now when you're ready. And when we do left, right, we're kind of connecting. Da da ba da da da. Hear that? All right, so that's the next way to do it. And sometimes you can do the right hand two times, like this. Go. I played it different every time, and that's okay. What you want to do. Sometimes you can make an A flat. How about this? kind of adds a little bit of a different sound, right? Have that fully diminished seventh chord in there. Then the singing starts at this point. Well, actually one time. And then we have, isn't that neat? So we have that next part that goes. So, <laughs> it's a very cool little song. And we do all the lessons on webpianoteacher.com as well as being able to download the sheet if you are a member. And come over and join us. Be glad to have you. Talk to you later.